Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you that the integral of the probability density function for the gamma distribution is equal to 1. This is one of the properties of a probability distribution that is, the integral of its probability density function is equal to 1. Now let's start with our proof. Integral of the probability density function for the gamma distribution is this one. 1 over and this beta raised to alpha and this x raised to alpha minus 1 we have e raised to negative x over beta and we have dx this is x equals 0 to infinity so we have 0 to infinity now uh, in order to simplify this I want to uh, make this one similar to our definition of gamma function so that I can remove the integral and exchange it with uh, gamma of alpha. So let me have here, this is t and this is x over beta, so we can have a transformation. Let uh, t is equal to x over beta. Then if we do that transformation, we can have x equals to beta times t and our dx is equal to this beta is a constant so we have beta dt now let's do the transformation this is equal to integral of this is 0 to infinity i will say if x equals 0 then t is 0 so we can have 0 here and if x is infinity so we have t is also infinity so it's okay to have infinity in here then let us copy the constants gamma of alpha beta of alpha then x is beta times t we have beta times t and raised to alpha minus 1 this is e raised to x over beta is t so we have t here dx is beta times dt this is beta dt now uh, we can uh, move out some of the constants from the integral so we have here this one is a constant so we can move it out from the integral gamma of alpha and also beta in here is a constant so we can move out beta raised to alpha minus 1 so we have beta raised to alpha minus 1 and we have here beta which is also constant then what what remains are t raised to alpha minus 1 and this is e raised to negative t and we have here dt this is from 0 to infinity so now this one for our constants so beta raised to 1 then alpha minus 1 is alpha minus 1 plus 1 is alpha so we have beta raised to alpha but we have also beta raised to alpha in the denominator so they will cancel out then uh, what will remain is 1 over gamma of alpha now this one integral they are say, similar to this they are exactly the same so uh, this is gamma of alpha then we have gamma of alpha now they are same numerator and denominator so we can cancel out then it is equal to 1 so that's our proof that the integral of the pdf of a gamma distribution is equal to 1